All right, I'm going to show you a tool that I've been using, which not only helps me to manage my social media feeds, allowing me to effectively sort of set it and forget it when it comes to my posts and tweets, but it also allows me, or I should say it helps me to find content to tweet and post about. Uh, I don't know about you, but for me, that's actually somewhat of a problem. Once you start using social media to actually promote your business, which of course, as a musician, that is what you're doing. Your music is your business. Um, it gets somewhat difficult. There's this pressure to always be cranking out content to keep people engaged, which is important on a number of levels. It's important not only um, to make sure that you're constantly driving sales and creating uh, a activity, reinforcing that relationship with your list, but it's also important because of the way, particularly Facebook's algorithm works. Uh, if people are not consistently interacting with your account, with your wall, and your content, then it effectively becomes deprioritized in the hierarchy of things and people are less likely to see those posts on Facebook. Uh, that does depend on settings, but per the uh, standard settings, that, that is a problem. So you want to be putting stuff out on a regular basis. It can hurt you to put out a little burst of content and then sort of ignore it for uh, you know weeks at a time. Um, so Buffer can help with that in a number of ways. Buffer is free to use. Uh, they do have some paid upgrades that uh, enable more features. They let you use more accounts, uh, load up your account with more tweets and posts, that sort of thing. Uh, but you can have at any given time 10 posts loaded and ready to go and you can have two of your social media profiles added to your free Buffer account. Right now I'm just using the free account. Um, and it works essentially like this. Here we are in my account. Uh, if you go to settings, you can see here that they have got some pre-populated times for your tweets and posts to go out. Now they've set the default at uh, 11 and 6 o'clock essentially for uh, Facebook going out twice a day and four times a day as you can see here approximately 9, 12, 5 o'clock and 8 o'clock on Twitter. Now reason being is that the amount of time that a tweet stays what they call above the fold on Twitter is much shorter than the average amount of time that a post remains visible on Twitter and above the fold for the record just simply means that you don't need to scroll down to see it. Um, and again you can change this you can delete some times if you want by simply clicking one of these X's and you can change any of these times to go out whenever you like I'm sticking with their default suggestions now buffer comes with several add-ons they have a Firefox add-on a uh, Safari I believe and a Chrome add-on and once you've got that installed it just takes a couple of seconds um, it, it becomes very easy to find and share content now there are a couple of ways you can do this probably the simplest is when you're browsing the internet maybe somebody sends you a link to something interesting you can with a click of a button share that content or load it up uh, to be retweeted through one of or both of your social media accounts now here is a video uh, that I like a lot of Frank Zappa talking about the decline of the music business uh, many years ago uh, and I think it's really interesting and I think it helps sort of reinforce what I'm about as a musician and as a personality it reinforces the lifestyle and that's ultimately what you're trying to do when you're using social media to enhance your music business or your career as a musician you're trying to um, effectively brand yourself and let people know who you are what you're about and pull them into your world as well as just share interesting content to keep them engaged with your channel so all you need to do when you find content that you like is simply click control alt B and you can see here that this window automatically pops up and what it does is it typically takes the headline or the, uh, the title of the page or the post and adds that as your tweet. Now you can totally edit this. Frank Zappa explains the decline of the music business and then there's the YouTube link. Now all I need to do is click add buffer. If I didn't want it to go to one of these accounts I could deselect my Twitter account for example. Maybe I just want to share it on Facebook and so forth. Um, and now I click add to buffer. I left both of them there so it would uh, in this case go out to both accounts 
So that's the simplest way to share content. Another great way to do things is to set up a Google Reader account. And what you can do is find any blog or site that you think is interesting and which has an RSS feed and add it to a folder specifically for your uh, career as a, a musician, content that you think others might find interesting and that you might like to share with your fans and again these days I'm doing kind of Americana roots music sort of thing so I've for just as an example gone out and pulled the RSS feeds from dozens of blogs that I thought were interesting and were related to Americana and they are all sort of mashed up here in one feed and I can simply come in on any given day and scroll for content now um, I've kind of check this out in advance and found an article that was on Alvin and the Chipmunks. Um, I went on to read the article and thought it was really interesting. It makes a case that Alvin and the Chipmunks was really significant uh, in the world of Americana music and that was something I had never thought about. Uh, I had no idea uh, you know, I thought they were just sort of a kid's show. I went on to watch some of the videos and thought it was really interesting. And again, I thought that would help me connect with my fans. It would uh, be entertaining to anyone who clicked on it. And it helped reinforce the lifestyle that I'm trying to uh, portray with, with my music and with my uh, public persona uh, or what have you as an artist. And once installed, it's very easy. You just come down to the bottom of any post in your reader and simply click Send to Buffer. Once you do that, it automatically loads it up into your Buffer account. And once again, you can deselect any of your profiles and you can uh, edit this in any way that you like. Let's say I had no idea Alvin and the Chipmunk were so cool. Oops, chimp monks. <laughs> uh, and then simply add to buffer. It's automatically shortening the links and taking care of that for you. Now, if we come back to my buffer, click on my account. You can see here that I have these all loaded up and ready to go out to my list. Now another thing that you can do is Buffer gives you a private Buffer email address and you can literally email yourself tweets as well. So uh, let's say you've got your phone on you and you don't want to have to log into different accounts. You can simply open up an email, add our Buffer email address, which I will blur out for privacy reasons. We put our content in the subject line. You should check out Buffer. It's cool. And then we put our link here. Musicmarketingmanifesto.com forward slash buffer. And then click send. Now we come back to Buffer and go to my buffer and we scroll down and you can see here that it has loaded up that post now it pulled an image from my page um, and I didn't actually create the page yet that was just an example uh, URL that I plan to set up so that's why this looks a little funky and says page not found normally it would pull the page title and place it right there which would uh, have my keywords in it and have my descriptive title in it I'm just gonna delete that and you get the idea the other very simple thing you can do is simply write a manual post here um, I'm loving buffer doesn't have to have a link or anything at all. Post now, add to buffer. So if you just want to schedule some general content, oops, I got a typo in there, but you get the idea. I, I think I can edit it, yeah. There we go. And I've got all my uh, tweets scheduled to go, and these will go out at the intervals that I determine when I set up my account, or if I didn't do anything specific, it will go out at the default intervals uh, that we discussed a second ago. So that's it. 
that's buffer. I, I really like this. It's so easy to use. And again, the uh, ease with which it allows you to share content makes this sort of a no-brainer. Uh, again, it's free. Uh, if you want to add more than two uh, profiles, then there's a small monthly fee. Uh, if you want to load it up with um, just a ton of content in advance, let's say you're going to go on the road and you want content going out every single day, then you can do that. Again, you, you might need the uh, upgraded account for that, but you can have 10 posts loaded up at, at, at any time, um, at, which is more than enough for most of us uh, to hold us for a few days, possibly even a week. So you come in uh, at the most twice a week, load things up, and you're good to go, and your feeds are never getting neglected. You've got a constant stream of entertaining content uh, that is engaging your fans, helping reinforce the lifestyle and uh, personality that you're trying to portray, because at the end of the day, as we we've been talking about at Music Marketing Manifesto, uh, people are not buying your music because they want a download. That has inherently no value whatsoever. They're buying it because they want an experience. And you as an artist and all that you bring to the table uh, with your personality and your life experiences, your lifestyle, that's what they're buying into. And social media is a great way to reinforce that or even establish that altogether. So check out Buffer. There's a link below this video. I think you'll dig it and it's free. So uh, no reason not to. And if you like to get more music marketing tips like this, uh, you might check out the Music Marketing Manifesto Insider Circle. That's a mastermind community uh, for musicians that want to meet and network with other musicians privately, discuss marketing, and you also get monthly training modules, insider interviews, and a whole lot more. Uh, currently in the members area, we've got uh, modules on how to create mobile-friendly squeeze pages, list building with marketer Chris Rempel. Uh, we've got search engine optimization for musicians. Uh, cr creating authentic limited time offers, creating viral rewards machines, uh, and promoting membership sites, getting pressed. We can see there's a ton of content in here, uh, and uh, you might want to check that out. Just go to musicmarketingmanifesto.com forward slash insider circle. And of course, there is also the Music Marketing Manifesto 2.0 course. So that's it, Buffer. I hope you dig it. Uh, check it out and let me know what you think below in the comments. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you soon.